This is a recipe that I've been making for many, many years. And you start by, oh, here, Joey, don't you want to taste? I do, I do. Those are really good. You can give the other Joey some, too. All right. Um, now, I peel, and I like to use large russet potatoes. Uh, I just like the taste of the russets for the for the latkes. And I generally, because my mom said you had to do it this way, I generally grate on a hand grater uh, like this. And you can, if you want to make them really lacy, you do it long st strips of potato. If you want them a little bit denser, you do it crosswise like this. You can also grate your potatoes. And notice what I'm doing. I'm immediately putting the grated potato uh, which is uh, full of wonderful starch right into some ice water. And they're just going to sit there until I'm ready to make the latkes. Uh, you can also grate the potato in a food processor fitted with the grating, um, the, gra the grater right inside instead of the blade. Uh, and this goes very, very quickly. I'll just show you. Just press it right down. And this will make a denser, uh, potato, but very good for small or d'oeuvre sized latkes. And these two should be put immediately into iced water. You always lose a little bit of potato when you grate like this. But see how fast it goes? Really nice. And, uh, and empty the, the um, food processor bowl quite often. Don't, get, let, don't let it get real full. So this is just terrific. Pick this out. Try not to get too much ice and put it into a cheesecloth or towel-lined strainer over a bowl. Because what's going to happen is all of this is going to strain. And uh, <clears throat> to avoid getting all the ice in the potatoes, you could have another strainer right in here so that you can pick it out and the ice could be underneath, keeping the water cold. But what I'm accomplishing by doing this is in the bottom, all the starch that you really need for your pancakes has accumulated in the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to let this one drain. It should drain for, oh, 15 or 20 minutes. And this one has already drained. The potatoes are nice and white, um, just starting to turn a little brown, so they have to be used pretty fast right after they're taken um, out of the towel. This is enough for quite a few latkes, but look what's in the bottom of the bowl. This is the potato starch, which I like to incorporate right back into. My mother insisted that I put this starch back. Now, my mom was not Jewish. She did not, um, she was Catholic. She did not uh, have Hanukkah at our house, but she knew how to make great potato pancakes coming from Eastern Europe. So I'm just putting this starch right back into the potatoes. And like mom, I don't like to waste even a fraction of it. So this gets stirred up, and I'm going to add oh, my secret ingredient. Mom didn't do this, is beer. <coughs> Just about a quarter of a cup of beer. Good beer. Three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And add the two beaten eggs. Start stirring this up. And uh, another thing that I think is essential to the potato pancake, I just grate really, really fine one white onion. So, so now we're ready. I just have to season this with one tablespoon of salt and as much pepper as you like. Uh, a little bit more. I love black pepper in my potato pancakes. Now have your oil heated uh, quite hot. And I'm using uh, either grapeseed oil or safflower oil. Sometimes I use olive oil. Best thing to do is kind of use your fingers and pick up a little pile and put them right in. If you don't mat, if you want them more solid, push uh, sort of like push them into a little cup measure and turn them out. But if you put them in like this, they will be a little bit lacier and a little bit lighter. And they look like they're kind of flimsy and they might fall apart, but they don't. They really do cook very nicely together. And they smell good. The beer smells really good. And just wait until they get brown on one side and turn them. And keep straining the oil with the, with the spatula. This is a real, this fish spatula is perfect for turning the potato pancakes. You can press them down a little bit so that the centers also get cooked. 
turning the heat up a little bit. Okay, so we turn this over and get both sides a very beautiful golden brown. Really golden brown. Do not take them out if they're just an insipid kind of creamy color. This is what they should look like. So they're crispy and when you break into them, they are moist inside. And I must tell you, um, topping them with pink applesauce, which is made when, with red skinned apples, leave the skins on when you cook them and then just pick the skins out of the apple, a little lemon juice and apples and no sugar and a little bit of delicious creme fraiche. This is, this is a potato pancake everyone in your family will enjoy.